Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial Episode 10. Today we're going to look a little more at less CSS and some of the things that I've done with it over the last week. If you're not subscribed to the podcast, if you're just watching this on the site, then I encourage you to go to iTunes, search for WP Theme Tutorial, and subscribe to the podcast. That way you can get every episode and not miss any. So this is very similar to the file that we looked at last time. I put together a compiled.less file, and then I've included my variables, my reset, my layout, and then some CSS for my iPad. Let's start by taking a look at the variables file. You can see in here I've defined the center, so that's kind of the main width for my site and how we're going to center it. I have defined a class for my menu hover, and there's a triangle on the menu that shows the highlights. This is for my site, so I could even bring that up for you. You see the menu triangle there at the bottom. And then we did our header fonts. That's actually through Typekit I'm doing it, I'm calling that font. And our heading font, and then our body font. So one of the things that I kind of thought was a decent idea is we have the triangle up and triangle right. By, all I have to do if I want it in anything is call or put a class of triangle right. So why don't we search for that in our file. You can see menu hover after gets the menu hover triangle class. And you can see the menu hover triangle class calls triangle up and gives me seven pixels. That's because triangle up has a size that's set to a variable of five and I set the color as well. So I could also change the color of that by adding a color with a com after a comma. Some of the other things I do is I've done defined variables for rounding every corner, top right, top left, bottom right, bottom left, and then I defined one called round corners for that calls all of my other classes, top right, top left, bottom right, bottom left. In each of those I've also defined a radius variable for two pixels. So something I rounded in that was the button, it takes you to next and previous page. You can see under my button normal class, I've called rounded corners of five pixels. If I only wanted to round the top corners, then I would just simply call top right round and top left round and put in the radius that I wanted for each one. And in here, where we call button normal, you can see for reply A, I've called button normal, which is the reply button uh, in comments. I've also called it for navigation A, which is the one at the bottom. That means if I want to change it and not round it anymore, all I'd have to do is come back into button normal and remove the rounded corners and it would not be there anymore. So now there is an issue with what I've done. You can see I've say font link color and I've set a color for my font links. Because I've included it in my compiled file uh, with my variables, it will show up and render properly but I don't have any type of completion. So if we look back here, you see it doesn't actually try and fill anything for me. Now this is in PHP Storm is what I'm using, so it could vary in yours, in your setup, but it doesn't do any completion if I do it that way. So let's look at another project I worked on this week. So in this product project, I still have my variable.less file and I have my compiled file. Now it's only calling reset and layout. The reason being is my variables are called right at the top of this file. So that way, if I want to make this at orange, I would I get code completion. It's actually I want it to be dark gray. Something else I've done more in this one is the nesting. You can see I have my main link style right there, and then link with the and hover means a link that's been hovered, and I want it to do to have the color of dark gray and no text decoration. If it's, well, I guess I should spell that right, active, it's just gonna get the color dark gray. And then for the post edit link, so if it's a link 
with the class of post edit, I want it to have this font size. So this nesting is great, especially when you get into stuff like your menu. So nav li is floated left, has a text transform, and it has its font weight set. And then a nav li with a lit with the link on inside it gets a color. And if we hover over the link, it gets this color as well. And then we also, you can see if I have a, if it's a list item with a class of current menu item, then we call our color orange. And, or if it's a current page item, then we're going to call the same colors. And then I also do highlight because there's a special uh, menu color on one item. And we're defining our colors there. So I like it for the nesting. Lots of, most times we'd have nav li dot current menu item a, and we get a lot more CSS in there. Um, another nice thing you can see under article, so this is my basic article which wraps my post content, it wraps all of my posts, uh, the title and all the content. And then an article with a p tag inside it gets these variables. And then we also have for our list items ul and ol. And we define our margins and then by putting the list item in there, the li, it actually defines the margin for both ul and ol which means I don't have to add an extra line of CSS for both of those tags. Another thing we've done is you can see I've done more nesting with article.slide and then if there's a slide content inside we're defining our h4 and then our slide image as well. So you can see as I'm getting to the footer which is what I wrote later I'm doing a lot more nesting as I get more used to less. This is my first week with less. I guess I started using it last Friday for the last screencast which I record them on Fridays and put them out the following Thursday. Uh, I'm getting into more nesting. I'll revisit less again in uh, probably a month or two once I've been working with it on a regular basis. This last week I spent two, I worked two projects which we just showed you um, with less and then I've worked with one in regular CSS and I gotta say regular CSS feels kind of painful now especially for not having the variables for not being able to nest I feel like my code is a lot cleaner um, you can see I haven't converted everything to uh, all the nesting right here I have a comment body and I could nest the comment body P I could nest the UL and the OL and the LI and our block quotes um, I just haven't done that. In fact, what I could really do, because I often define them the exact same as my article settings, um, all of those is I could create a variable for each one uh, or a class in variables and just call it uh, in there. That way I could change both article and block quote at the, or article and comments at the same time. That would actually be the best way to do it. If you've worked with less more, then I'd love to hear any tips you have or if you're trying it out, any problems you have. Thanks for watching.